system prep and calibration for the AT102, AT2+, SP1 and 2. Each day your Schiller unit is used, it must be calibrated. Always make sure that you have paper, the unit is plugged into an outlet, or if running on battery, the battery is fully charged. Turn the AT102 on and press the calibration or cal button. Check to make sure that room temperature is on the screen and press enter. Then press run test, start, or the green button. The screen will say ready for measurement. Connect syringe to mouthpiece. Pull back, pump the syringe fully into mouthpiece. Do this three times, then press stop. If prompted to input screen amount, enter 9 liters, then press enter. If you are within 5% of amount entered, the screen will say calibration complete. If not, repeat until the system is calibrated. Now you are ready to run a test. Be sure to keep a log, enter the time of day you calibrated, and the technician's name. To calibrate the SP2, place the syringe to the unit. Press Enter and empty the syringe three times and press Stop. Repeat until the system is calibrated. You are now ready for a test when your patient data and daily log is entered. To calibrate the SP1, turn the unit on and press the calibration or cal button. Check to make sure that room temperature is on the screen. Then press auto button, green button. The screen will say ready for measurement. Connect syringe to mouthpiece, pull back, pump the syringe fully into mouthpiece. Do this three times, then press stop. If prompted to input screen amount, enter 9 liters, then press enter. If you are within 5% of amount entered, the screen will say calibration complete. If not, repeat until the system is calibrated. Now you are ready to run a test. When a patient comes into the room, the tech should inform the patient what procedure the doctor has ordered. Turn the unit on, go back to patient, press the patient data button, Enter the demographic data. Name, ID number, date of birth, age will appear, height in inches, weight, race. If the patient data is not entered, there will be no interpreted values displayed. When demonstrating the procedure, place the mouthpiece on your mouth to create a tight seal with lips. Take a deep breath in, then blow as hard as you can blow for four to six seconds. Now you are ready for testing. Place a new mouthpiece on device. Place the nose clip on the patient. Inform them that you are starting the test. Press auto or the green button. The screen will display ready for measurement. Tell patient to take deep breath in. Blow out, blow, blow, blow. Coach your patient. You're doing great. One, two, three. Take a deep breath in and stop. Press the stop button. Remind the patient to relax. Check the data to make sure you have three continuous loops within 5% of each other. When done, press pre-post button to give a pre-post study. If no pre-post review data is needed, press print report to conclude the test. To protect your investment and obtain best results, it is important to use only Schiller accessories and supplies with your system. Ordering information can be found through a number of sources, in our product literature, through our distributors, and through our customer hotline. You can also find answers to many of your questions on our website at www.schilleramerica.com. We sincerely appreciate your business and look forward to providing you with outstanding value, service, and support. From all of us at Schiller America, thanks again.